Hunter Bassler says, off topic question, but Kyle said last year he was hoping Jordan Reed would be the Andre Iguodala of the team that would be. What would that be? And is that why he keeps bringing in tight ends? I don't remember that. T- I don't remember that quote. The Andre Iguodala of the team, like the guy off the bench, the sixth man. I mean, it was a good, it was a good idea. I do. I think there's, I have said this for a while is I think there's a lot of value in having two, two very good tight ends. Um, mm-hmm. I think you can, you can do a lot of things. And Kyle said this before he likes playing around with personnel. He likes putting, he likes putting personnel on the field and make defense put a uh, match up with personnel and then doing the opposite of what you think he's going to do and put you in a, vul- a vulnerable position. And the tight ends let you do that. And they also work, to your advantage on the um, pay scale, right? Because they're cheaper. So, like, True. you know, George Kittle, who we believe is the one of the top tight ends in the league, conversely, is not as expensive as one of the top receivers in the league. Um, so, I mean, I would rather personally have, like, if I could fit Travis Kelsey and George Kittle on the same roster than, like, let's say Julio Jones and – Devontae Adams, right? Because they're both going to be – I can get high-level production from those guys, and they're going to be cheap, uh, cheaper. Um, yeah, that, that all checks out, but just bothers me that Ross Dwelly isn't getting the respect he deserves. So let me I'm – I'm trying to call up something real quick. Hold on. Let me, let me get the picture of Ross Dwelly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. It's going to change. It's going to blow your mind. It's Did he put on weight? Did he put on some, some – I'm trying power? to tell you. I'm trying to show you right here. So hold on. Here we go. I'm going to put it in – on, here we go. You'll see. You'll see. I put it as a background. Yeah, put it as a background. All right, all right. I'm going to show you what Ross Dwelly is now. Hold on. Are you going to put up a picture of Shaq or something? No, I swear to God. I'm going to show it. It's going to be him next to Kittle. Kittle looks ridiculous. I mean, not ridiculous, but he just. Okay, here we go. So hold on. He- I mean, I think it's pretty big. Yeah, it's bigger than before. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's maybe. What, did he go to Kittle with uh, with Kittle in Nashville? No, he didn't. He's been doing his own thing. Uh, maybe he found his something that works. I don't know. Yeah, it's bigger. Guys, I don't One more time. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good job, Ross. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw, but Kittle took all that money he got and he built like a facility on his like. Oh wow. Or whatever, and to, to like work out. So now he's the 49er strength and conditioning coach. That's big of him because the other guys. Hey, wouldn't, wouldn't you rather like? Wouldn't you rather work out in Nashville than work out That's in true. Santa Clara with a That's true. Just stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah, good point. Good call. Um, I just hope so, they give Ross his chance because I think he's ready for no, it. I agree. I agree with you. I think like you got to somehow you got to figure out like what is can he right. throw at him? He, he catches so like yeah, give, give him a chance. Yeah, and what is his? Let me do one more thing before we move on. What is his uh, salary situation? I think he signed signed through this year only. So get something from him. You know, he could be gone next year. He could be the next Kendrick Bourne. Yeah, I'll give you guys on, on the Jordan Reed. I'll give you guys a free uh, little story. Uh, so Jordan, oh, nice. Jordan Reed is from Connecticut. Um, so like, uh, right. he right. played in uh, a team uh, for New London, Connecticut, for a coach who's like one of the greatest uh, Connecticut high school coaches. Like six time state champion. Like he's gone to three different places, wins everywhere he goes. Doesn't matter. Um, he's notorious for like taking players from one place to another, which mm. he's not supposed to do. And Jordan Reed was one of them. Um, ah. he, took, he took from one high school to another, from one high school to another. Jeez. Like a free agent back in the day. Interesting. <laughs> Derek O'Dell says, what can we get for hasty and a third next year for a cornerback? I don't think yeah. Hasty's worth a pick yet. No, it's, running backs aren't going to – you're not going to get high value for running backs. Um, yeah. He sees value is to the 49ers. He's cheap, uh, and it looks like he they can get something out of him, like on the field. So, um, no, they're not going to get – Is he saying we could get for Hasty and a third? I still think Hasty's value right now is like a late seventh, late, late seventh, basically. Yeah. You're not yeah. going to get high value for, for a running back. I mean – like in theory, like let's just say, if the Cowboys who are from the top running backs, like if, if the Cowboys wanted to trade Zeke, like what are they going to get for Zeke? Yeah, probably a third round um, pick. Like not even. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good question though. 
Thanks for the donation. 